Hey guys, it's Tatum. Um, I am back from vacation and yeah, so I am ready to film a video for you guys and get something posted. Um, I probably am going to be filming a tutorial on this look sometime in the coming week, um, but I wanted to go ahead and do another installment of Swatch My Stash. Um, it's going to be one where I'm like sitting in front of you and showing you the swatches on my hands. Um, probably going to take my watch off. Um, but this is going to be my Makeup Geek collection. I have five um, pigments and then this Z palette is full of single eyeshadows. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the pigments because those are probably going to take me a little bit of time because they're so messy. Um, the first one is Insomnia. And the packaging looks like this. Um, and then the older ones look like Oh, I don't know if you can even tell. Oh wait, maybe it's like, it's this one compared to this one. I don't know, one of the wording is smaller than the other. Like this, I think. I don't know, can you even tell? Probably not. It looks the same, but the wording's a little smaller on the newer packaging, so. So since this is an older one, it doesn't have a sifter. Um, and this is the one that's compared a lot to the, um, MAC Blue Brown, and that's that on my finger, and there is that swatched, so you can see all the dimension in there. Get a Kleenex. Um, so that was Insomnia. I actually haven't, the only two I've worn are New Year's Eve and uh, Birthday Wish, I think it's called. So, it's a little messy. I got a tissue though. Okay, so there was Insomnia. Then here is Afterglow. This one's really pretty too. I might have used this one once actually too. There's that on my finger. And this one's like a really pretty um, champagne-y kind of color. I hope you can see the glitter in it. So there is that. Afterglow. This one also doesn't have a sifter. Good, I get pigment all over me. <laughs> okay, um, then we have New Year's Eve. This one I've used many times. The only thing with this one though is like, I feel like it gets chunky when I use Fix Plus. So I'm like, how can people even use Fix Plus with it? There, you can see really see the glitter in that one. Woo, woo, woo. I love this one. It has that more iridescent feel where it's got like, you know, that greeny glitter to it. I love that. And then, uh, Birthday Wish. This one's a little more uh, pinky-ish. It's kind of like, a, she might compare it to tan pigment or something. I do have tan. I've never swatched them next to each other, but this one... If it is similar, it has probably has a lot more glitter. And this one does have a sifter, and that's what that looks like. It's just a little hole, so that's a lot easier to use. But there's that. Really pretty. Okay. Just want you guys to get the full effect.
And then the last one I have is Utopia. And this one has a sifter too, which is good because this one's freaking crazy. Come on. This one might be hard to swatch. So this isn't a very good swatch, but this is like black and gold and like greeny kind of. Yeah, that's probably as good as I'm going to get, but there are all my pigments. Okay, the rest is going to take a lot less time. <laughs> okay, so when I ordered my first Makeup Geek Shadows... Um, I didn't have a full palette yet, I believe. I've made two orders. So the first time I ordered the, the Z palette and shadows, and then I ordered more shadows later. But now this is, like, full. And I think I might have a space for, like, maybe one more shadow, if that, because there's really not much space. But I'll just start from the top. Um, so the first one is Vanilla Bean. Vanilla Bean, and I love this one for a brow bone highlight. This is like my favorite brow bone highlight of all time. And the reason why is because it just has like a slight sheen to it. Probably not going to be able to really see it because I'm really tan right now. Next is Shima Shima, and this is a great champagne lid shade. There is that. Shimma Shimma. Next to Vanilla Bean. And then I have Beaches and Cream. Which is a nice matte creamy shade. Which currently I could probably use as a brow bone highlight. But if I'm really fair, it's more of a transition for me. And then Peach Smoothie, another great transition shade. More peach, obviously. I don't know if you're going to move. It's right here. Sorry, I gotta see what my dog's doing really quick. She was chewing in a cardboard box, but I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, next we have Purely Naked, which is a nice crease shade. And it's just got a slight, like, shimmer to it, but it doesn't really show shimmery. It's like a satin, kind of. I'm sorry if you guys can hear her chewing, because I can hear it from here. So there is that. Really naked. Let me fix this light a little bit. There's that. And I'll have them listed in order in the down bar. And then I have um, Bleach Blonde. This is a really nice gold with like little flecks of shimmer. And they're so soft and so pigmented. I'm sure you guys have heard but I love this shade for a lid shade. This is one of my favorites. So there's that right there. Bleached blonde. Sorry if you guys can see the hair on my hand. <laughs> and then we have Cosmopolitan. This is like a pink with like a duochrome. It's similar to MAC Expensive Pink, which I have, but this is actually more pigmented. There is that right there. And 
And then we have Barcelona Beach. Most of these are like shades I would use whenever because I didn't want to get anything, like really anything too crazy, you know? So these are shades I would use on a regular basis, you know? It's like my own neutral shade. So this one's kind of a taupey color and it's a satin. So as you can see it has that little bit of a sheen to it. It's a really nice taupe. And then we have Latte, which is my doggie's name. This is just a nice, simple, uh, medium brown. And there's that right there. So you can tell that Barcelona's Beach is taupe next to Latte. And then I have Homecoming. They're so soft to swatch, it's crazy. Okay. So this is like your taupe lid shade, like satin taupe, but I think better. <laughs> so there's Homecoming. Gorgeous. And then this is one of my absolute favorites. This is Cupcake. It's a pink shade, but it's a great crease shade. I love this shade. I'm really into like mauve toned eyeshadow looks. So there's that. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could rock that as a blush. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it would really matter how you use it because it's whatever you want, you know? And this one's also a really popular one, which I also love. This is Cocoa Bear. And this is just a beautiful warm brown. Love using this in the outer V and like just to deepen up the crease. Latte! What are you doing? There is that right there. Latte! Just being naughty. Okay, then to my next row, we have Sensuous, which I haven't used much, but it's very pretty. I should um, bust this out. I'm going to start swatching on my other hand a little bit. This is gorgeous. It's like purple with gold. Oh, it's so pretty. Latte! So you can see the difference between like that and a pigment, you know? Like there is a difference between the shimmer. Here is Twilight, another taupey shade. But this one's a little more purple than, um, I think it was Homecoming. So there's Twilight. And then we have, oh my god, I just dug in to homecoming. No! Oh, that's what I get for having long nails. No! Look, I just dug into that. Oh, I'm pissed off now, but it's all for you guys. <laughs> okay, then we have unexpected, which is a nice purple matte shade. I don't know where I was expecting to swatch this. There's that right there. And then we have Frappe. Another brown. <laughs> and I did a lot of research before I bought these, so you guys should do the same. Um, I looked up a ton of swatches. It's really nice. Um, Marlena has swatches on her website. 
and she also compares them to MAC shades so if you already have certain MAC shades then you obviously don't want to get a dupe and also like I watched a bunch of people's videos like I watched Marlena's top 10 uh, makeup beak I watched um, Jaclyn Hill's video just did a lot of my own research this one is creme brulee this one is like the dupe for soft brown it's right there this one's a great crease shade then I have chickadee which is like that weird yellow shade that's good for a transition especially for warm shades and I'm actually I use this in my eye look today which you can't even tell see look how crazy that looks and that's on my eyes today and you wouldn't even know so that is that right there and then I have another a crazier one I have mermaid so kind of because of the name and because of the finish just I like having a pop of color under my eye sometimes so that one's pretty freaking cool this one is Rockstar and this is silver with like a pink duochrome I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it though this is the nail with eyeshadow under it I'm not I don't have poop in my nail oh, I don't know if you guys can see it Oh, well, maybe you will in this light. Okay. There, you could kind of see it. Hang on, I need to go with my dog. She's going crazy. Locked the box she was chewing, so hopefully she'll stop. <laughs> I only have four more to go, so. Alright. Then we have Pop Culture, which is a beautiful purple. This one has like a purpley blue iridescence. Come on, focus. Okay. And then Moon Dust. It's really pretty. Oh, this is so awkward. That's it right there. Two more. This is another one of my favorites, Mango Tango. It's like a peachy orange. And this one I use a lot in my warm looks. I used it in my Sunset Eye tutorial. Washed in kind of weird spot, but there it is. <laughs> that one's really pretty. And then, da 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 da, corrupt, <laughs> which is the blackest black eyeshadow ever. And I'm just gonna put it on my finger because you will see how black it is just from that. Look at that. That is black. And it's not sparkly, there was like sparkle under there, but look at how black that is. It's like crazy. Okay, here's my tissue. Look at this. Like, do you see? And it's still on my finger. And I'm rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And there you go. Like, you're going to have to be careful if you're doing a smoky out with that because it's going to stay. <laughs> So that was my Makeup Geek Eye Shadow and Pigment Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.